Dealing with retirement differs from person to person, and it can be so in- incredibly wonderful and joyful for some and more traumatic and worrying for others. And it is a process. It's a process of adapting to a new lifestyle, a new person. And I want to talk to you today, though, why I think that being retired or moving into retirement is like being a student. I think there's a lot of very interesting correlations. My name is Margaret Manning. I'm with 60 and Me, and I want to thank you so much for being here today are relevant to our women in our 60 and me community because this is where we are transitioning from a role where you know we were, we might have been on top of our game you know have you know, people working with us for us uh, being management ro- in management roles and then suddenly there you are you're by yourself or in a community that's changed. You, it's not the same uh, dynamic as, as you, you know, you're used to. And one of our bloggers, Lisa Dunkel, wrote this article based on her feelings, and I'm so aligned with them myself that I wanted to share them with you and give you some opportunity to explore this uh, process of retirement, which sometimes takes a while. It's not just a day that suddenly we're one minute, we're not retired, and then the next minute we're retired. There's an adaptive process that goes on, and we have to respect that. And I think be kind with ourselves as we go through these transitional um, challenges. And I think some of them are quite uh, difficult. Um, you know, we're not pulled in so many directions anymore. If you, when Before reti- you retire, you've got maybe your family or, uh, you know, colleagues, you've got work situations, and you feel this kind of busyness, like you're doing stuff, you're, you're busy. And then suddenly you can get up anytime you want and you can go wherever you feel like you want to walk or go or shop or be. And it's not that same um, running home to get the dinner on or, you know, trying to squeeze in email between, you know, getting, getting to sleep. It's really, as probably all of you who have gone through retirement or are just, you know, planning it, are, are concerned about. So um, Lisa talks about her own situation and says it actually took her, she says, two years took her two years to really get to the the bottom of what, she, what life as a retired person meant and to kind of rebuild the um, infrastructure, you know, rebuild the connections that uh, gave her life meaning and purpose and also uh, enabled her to daydream, as she says, you know, to be, dream about what could be possible next. And so she says uh, this idea of the college dorm popped into her mind. Okay, so here's the image, right? You've got the image in your mind. You're lying on your bed, you're reading Dostoevsky or you're reading you know, something for your Russian literary lit classes, she says. And then one minute you're popping over and you're reading a philosophy book for your philosophy class. And then your friend knocks on the door and says, hey, come on, let's go for a coffee and it's okay. And off you go. It's like life is just fun and you're learning. I mean, maybe comp- college wasn't as easy or co- <laughs> was more complicated than I'm describing it. But, you know, if you think about that's what retirement's like, you know, be able to read what you like, go where you want, be with friends. And that's for Lisa. She said, oh, that's it. I, that's my retirement idea. And, you know, of course, we have schedules when we're students. We have to be at our classes, theoretically. <laughs> we have homework to do. We have reports that we have to write. Um, you know, we could take naps if we have a really late night the night before, if we go to a party or dinner. Uh, you know, we've got schedules. It's no, not that we haven't got things to do, but we are exploring new ideas. You know, we're sharing our thoughts with other people. We're sitting down at a table for maybe an hour to talk about something that's happening in the world. You know, we take time to, we, we took time when we were in college. And by the way, I didn't actually go to college myself um, in that traditional way. I didn't have a dorm. I worked all the way through college. So I was, um, you know, in my little bed sit in, um, uh, in Colorado. And I was, you know, doing that same student lifestyle, but I wasn't in a dorm. So I kind of, you know, Lisa did the dorm, which was a bit more structured and um, organized, maybe. Mine was going to work and then taking classes at night and at lunchtime. You probably all had a configuration that worked, but it was that same feeling that you, you, your work was a means to an end. I was part time working and it was, um, you know, going to help me to have a better life. So, but this, the main thing I was doing was my work with school and uh, my studies. So, the thing is, you know, the time that, and she mentions this so, so well, is that at the time we were students, we had so many dreams of where we wanted to travel, but we had no money. We didn't start working yet, so we didn't have money to go and travel and do the things we loved, start a business, do, you know, whatever we wanted to dream of. And now we're older. We hopefully have got a little bit more money than we had when we were in school. Maybe, maybe not, but hopefully we do. And so we've got the time now and we've got the energy 
still and the interest. And we've got this infrastructure of life experience. So we can be a student again. We can be a student of life. We can do the things that we did as a student, read, learn, share, discuss, engage. But we don't have to be you know, d- taking the tests. Well, we take different kinds of tests, I guess, as we get older. But we no longer have to say, you know, um, you know, what am I going to do with myself? I- I've got a- I've got something that interests me and I'm going to do it. Uh, she talks about um, senior weekends, senior student weekends being more um, re- deeper and more, uh, not important, but more re- uh, fun and enjoyable is that we we don't have to worry about the question like when we're working, what's a weekend? I worked all the way through my work weekends most of the time, and maybe you did too. So when you're having that weekend to yourself as a senior and your senior student years, you actually are doing things with a depth of, of understanding and wisdom of choice. Like you know what kind of museums you like to go to. You know like what concerts you want to go to. You can pop out in the afternoon on a Tuesday and go to a movie. You know, you've got these things that would have held you back as a student because you just didn't have the life perspective. And I think that's really, really important. When you're a student, you don't have a lot of money to enjoy those little indulgences, those uh, little uh, small indulgences. And you can do that maybe when you get a little older because you know the things that please you. You know the things that make you feel good. Um, she says that when she embraces her senior lifestyle, it makes her giggle. <laughs> like a student with wisdom, she says, uh, Lisa, the person who wrote this article. And I just love that image of a student with, or a, you know, a student with wisdom. I do wish sometimes that you had seen life the way that you ha- do now in your 60s and 70s, 80s, uh, as, as opposed to what you had, the, that little breadth of knowledge you had when you were in your 18, 19, in your early 20s, or at work. Even then, because you were giving to other people, you were working for someone else, you were giving them your time. And now you've retired. Of course, you have other challenges. As Lisa talks about, you've got lack of friendships, the context for your friendships have changed. You're no longer going into the workplace and, and having that, that rhythm of um, connection. But you have now got the freedom to go out and make new ones. And she said to being a student in her 60s and, and, and for you who are older than that, it's just the greatest gift in the world. Because we never stop learning, you know, we should, or in my opinion, we should never stop um, uh, learning new things and uh, trying new things. All those things that we wanted to do when we were in uh, school in, as a student. Craft. Uh, I think the secret with retirement is to do, t- take all the qualities and things you've learned in your life about yourself, your style, and then apply it to projects and fun things that with the spirit of a student, starting again Lots of choices, lots of possibilities as to the roads you take, but through the wisdom, the lens of maturity and understanding. So do you agree with that? Do you think that being uh, in retirement is like being a student? I'd love your, your comments about that. What was, that. what was the hardest thing, if you're retired already, that you found on that in those first uh, few years? And if you are about to retire or thinking, I'm going to retire in X number of years or months, what are the things that concern you? Leave your comments section below. Let's have a chat. I really enjoy our conversations. I thank you sincerely for being here. Hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are on the planet and uh, just take good care of yourself and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye for now.